Hi guys, in today's video I am going to do another wig review for you and today's wig is Aesthetica's Jones and the colour is RH12 26RT4 Welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is Ange and I like to share all things beauty and lifestyle aimed at the more mature woman as I navigate my more mature years. Now on my channel there is mostly all beauty related content but in the last eight months I have been undergoing cancer treatment and I have lost all my hair due to chemotherapy so I have been purchasing wigs um, on sale and in clearance trying to find a wig that I really love. Now the reason I've started this journey is that I did purchase my first wig using um, We Get a Ministry of Health grant to buy a wig and I absolutely hated my first wig. I went to a place that didn't give you options to see wigs on display. They just bought wigs out that they thought would suit you. And absolutely lovely, absolutely loved the person that did that. But I would have liked more choice and more understanding on what it is about wigs that make them different. So it's it's been through this journey that I've discovered I need low density. Length is uh, makes a difference. I hate permities, absolutely hate it. But um, there's been two wigs that I've purchased that have had permities that it is doable. This is one of them. This has permities all through the top. Um, it doesn't have a monofilament um, parting or top or anything like that, which is something I prefer in a wig. But on this particular wig, it works. It doesn't look too fake. It doesn't look um, wiggy. I really like this particular wig for it, especially how affordable it was. Okay, now the Jones wig by Aesthetica is a flicked out medium design cut shag with texture and flicked out ends. This wig has a wefted stretch design so it has a bit of stretch to it. Breathable cap, a basic cap where all the permities is. It has the extender tabs with the bra strap hook and eye adjusters and the ear tabs are just covered metal but they are quite bendy and do fit to your head quite well. I have to say on the wig form I do not love this wig but I really like it once it's on my head. I think it's going to be a fun style. I would love it in the summer but I think it's going to be a bit hot with the basic cap on top. Not sure but I, for me this is a really cool summer style. Now this as I've said in other videos, I like my ear tabs when they are up to the top of my ear. These ear tabs come down lower, down here. So they are going to be a pain if I want to wear a wig. So if I'm wanting to, I mean, if I'm wanting to wear a mask. So if you can see, when the ear tabs come down too low, I have to tuck the hair and it just doesn't look right. That, that, that doesn't look right at all. The good thing about the style of this wig is that it, the shaggy style suits all this down here. So it doesn't matter that the ear tabs come down low because these nice little fa face framing layers cover that up. I'm not too sure 
if it's going to work, if I, I want to wear it to work, I don't think it is because I'm not going to be able to comfortably wear a mask with this wig. I really hate this with the ear tabs being down too low and you tuck the hair and the ears stick forward. It's something I don't like. But then you can just pull a few tendrils forward a little bit to try and disguise that. So it is tuckable and you can play with it. There's not much else because it's so layered um, and you don't have a lace front there's not much else that I personally would do to style it. I think the style is all in how it is anyway. You, If you wanted to boof it up at the top you could. I'm not going to. I don't like that look. But it's playable. Like I can even put the... fringe to the other side and then I could flatten it down again. So I can play with this and wear it different ways. What I like about it is that it is, you know, a bit casual and fluffy. My hair naturally would have been a little bit discombobulated like this anyway. It never sort of had a particular style, it did what it wanted and I do quite like this. Now I do really quite like the colour. So it's RH14 slash 26 which means it's got the colour 14 with 26 highlights and the RT4 means that the root base on this is a 4. I like that. My natural um, base is a 5 and I just think when there is rooting, uh, I've tried a couple of wigs on that are blonde all over and I don't like that. For me it doesn't look realistic, I do prefer a rooting. So I do like this, super affordable wig and... You know, I thought I wasn't going to love her, but I actually really do quite like her. I think she's really funky. I like the fact that it's blonde for something different. I also reviewed the Raquel Welsh Unfiltered in a blonde colour. To be honest, I don't think I'm keeping that. I think I will keep this. Uh, I'm going to do another video once I've reviewed all these wigs and let you know which ones I am keeping. Okay, so let's untuck her and just show you her all sides. Front, left side, back. Right side, in front again. Okay guys, I actually really like this because it's so different to anything else that I have tried. I think I'm going to keep this one, but I will update you on a upcoming video on the wigs that I am going to keep and let you know. Okay, if you enjoyed this, a very quick, a short review on the Aesthetica Jones wig, please give the video a thumbs up, I would truly appreciate it. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button down below, and um, I'd love to see you back in future videos. Thanks for joining me today and taking time out of your day to do so. I hope you've all had a wonderful and a beautiful day, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. See you later guys, bye.